Well, it's being described as a modern architectural masterpiece and today it opened its doors to the community for a first look. It's not an art gallery or museum, but an Australian mosque. The building is in the final stages of construction and is due to open in time for next year's Ramadan. A place of worship for an ancient religion, designed in an unmistakably 20th century style. This mosque in Sydney's southwest is inspired by a type of architecture known as brutalism. It's different in a sense that it's made of concrete. It's made of a singular material, poured and cast. I don't think there are any mosques in the world that are like this. And if we go in... The architect today explained the ideas behind the Punchbowl Mosque to members of the public, but it was a project he hesitated to take on when he was first approached 10 years ago. He's not Muslim, but Greek Orthodox. What you need to do is not look at the differences, but look at the similarities. Besides having to face Mecca, he had the scope to create a mosque unlike any seen before. It's amazing. It's historic. Uh, it's different. It's simple, it's um, practical, it's uh, blending in with our environment. There have been some reservations though. Some of them are asking us, are we going to paint the concrete? And when we explain to them, no, that's, that's the finished look of it. So that they have to get used to the idea. Inside, there are cast concrete domes with tiny skylights. Each will be inscribed with one of the 99 names for God in Arabic. There's also a room for ablutions and a minaret. The dome is another traditional element that's been maintained. So too, the segregation of male and female worshippers. While the men will be downstairs, the women's gallery are higher up, here on two balconies. Those waiting to join the congregation hopeful it will have an impact on the wider community. Having this kind of, you know, extraordinary design, I think it would uplift not only your belief, but what other people think about Islam. Helena Spista, SBS World News.